At 11.40 p.m. on April 14, 1912, Titanic struck an iceberg on her starboard side, springing open six of her 16 watertight compartments. Ship designer Thomas Andrews, after assessing the damage, gives Titanic at most two hours to live. At midnight on April 15, 1912, Titanic's lifeboats are ordered ready. There is only enough room for half of the 2,200 passengers and crew on board. 12.15 a.m. Wireless operator Jack Phillips sends history's first SOS. 12.15 a.m. Wireless operator Jack Phillips sends history's first SOS. 12.20 a.m. The Cunard liner RMS Carpathia responds to Titanic's distress signal. But even at a top speed of 17 knots and being 58 miles away, it'll take her four hours to reach Titanic. 12.45 a.m. Starboard. Lifeboat 7 is the first to be launched. Number 7 is launched with 27 of its 65 seats occupied. 12.55 a.m. Starboard. Lifeboat 5 is the second to be launched. Port. Lifeboat 6 is the third to be launched. Occupants of number 6 include Margaret Brown, Lookout Frederick Fleet, and Quartermaster Robert Hitchens. 1 a.m. Starboard. Lifeboat 3 is the fourth to be launched. Number 3 is launched with 39 of its 65 seats occupied. Lifeboat 1 is the fifth to be launched. Number 1 is launched with 12 of its 40 seats occupied. Occupants of number 1 include Sir Cosmo Duff Gordon and his wife Lucille. 1.10 a.m. Port. Lifeboat 8 is the sixth to be launched. Number 8 is launched with only 28 of its 65 seats occupied. Macy's co-owner Isidore Strauss is offered a spot with his wife Ida. Strauss refuses, adhering strongly to the women and children first policy. Ida famously chooses to remain with her husband. 1.20 a.m. Port. Lifeboat 10 is the seventh to be launched. Starboard. Lifeboat 9 is the eighth to be launched. Number 9 is launched with 56 to 65 of its seats occupied. 1.25 a.m. Port. Lifeboat 12 is the ninth to be launched. Number 12 is launched half full to capacity. 1.30 a.m. Port. Lifeboat 14 is the 10th to be launched. Number 14 will be the only boat to go back looking for survivors. Starboard. Lifeboats 13 and 15 are the 11th and 12th to be launched. 1.35 a.m. Port. Lifeboat 16 is the 13th to be launched. Number 16 is launched with 40 of its 65 seats occupied. 1.40 a.m. Starboard. Collapsible C is the 14th to be launched. On board is White Star Chairman Joseph Bruce Ismay, whose escape caused him to be labeled a coward. 1.45 a.m. Port. Lifeboat 2 is the 15th to be launched. Number 2 is launched with 20 of its 47 seats occupied. Starboard. Lifeboat 11 is the 16th to be launched. Number 11 is launched with 50 of its 65 seats occupied. Port. Lifeboat 4 is the 17th to be launched. Number 4 is launched with 33 of its 65 seats occupied. 2 a.m. Port. Collapsible lifeboat D is the 18th to be launched. Collapsible D is launched with 20 of its 47 seats occupied. Collapsible D is the last lifeboat to be successfully launched. Collapsibles A and B are washed overboard. At this point, Captain Smith declares every man for himself.
one hour and ten minutes after Titanic slipped beneath the waves of the North Atlantic, RMS Carpathia arrives on the scene. The passengers of lifeboat number two are the first to board. Six hours and ten minutes after Titanic sank, the occupants of lifeboat 12 are the last to be brought on board Carpathia.